Welcome back. It's time for Under 30. Alex Coffee joined by Jenny Horn, and we're talking Ford Motor. Stock that, you know, I think for forever has been under 30, and uh, it's going to take a lot to get it over 30. So I think we're comfortable to talk about this one uh, for this segment here, Jenny. But, uh, you know, headlines being made today, we'll talk a little bit more about them. I'm not sure how I feel about it, though. I know, and so we, you know, at least it is below $14, so it's like, be careful what you wish for, because we were joking this name never, ever moves around $14. Now we're stuck at around $12, but we have seen investors concerned about this potential strike with the big three Detroit automakers. So here now to tell us more on this news and as well as some of the analyst activity we got today in Ford, I'd like to welcome in George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Network. So George, Walk us through the Ford story here. I mean, this name has fallen down 9% for the month. GM as well. It's not a Ford-specific story, but walk us through your thinking. Well, this is an interesting situation. I think the, the mainstay reason Ford and GM are both down uh, in the last uh, month is the UAW issues with the contract negotiations. I think uh, at the end of the day, it's going to cost both these businesses quite a bit of money. To, uh, to keep the production facilities open. And I think that's what the market is essentially telling us, because if you look at the last 30 days, both of these stocks are down about 20% respectively. And if you compare them to, let's say, international automakers like Honda or Toyota Motors, it seems to be more of a domestic production-based union contract issue versus a total vehicle sales issue. I think at the end of the day also for is facing maybe some secular challenges because they're, uh, they're retooling their factories to uh, to catch up with the demands associated with electric vehicles, while at the same time prices uh, seem to be uh, stable if not falling when it comes to the new vehicle uh, sales. And I think that's again another challenge to potential margins for Ford. I'm not surprised to see the stock down uh, as much as it has been in the last month or so, considering again. Uh, these UAW contract negotiations can be quite cumbersome. The out-of-vehicle customer experiences and the example that they provide is using a car's camera to recognize a bear while the driver is asleep when camping. How is this going to sell more cars, George? If I'm an investor in Ford, this is uh, this upsets me. Well, I agree with you, Alex. Look, so what's going on here? And by the way, I will say this, you know, in my experience uh, also, uh, you know, changing of the guard when it comes down to the executives or adding or, or changing uh, the head of a business division can make a meaningful move in the short term in the long run. I don't necessarily think it's a game changer. I think what's happening here in the automaking space or automobile space is, is we've talked about this where there used to be so much volume, uh, you know, companies were making money on, on lower price, higher volumes. Now it's low price, it's high price, low volume sales, particularly when you have to mm -hmm. order specialty vehicles or, or um, low, low, low supply based mm -hmm. vehicles. Another way to make money is, of course, recurring revenue, subscription services. In other words, paying for features that your car already has, so like heated seats, heated steering wheel, so forth, and all the other ancillary features and services that you just mentioned as well. Is that a good business strategy? You have to ask, you know, one would say perhaps it is, but perhaps it's not, if that's the case, uh, going across multiple automakers, not just four. Yeah, and I think that's also a really important point here, George, and just considering the fact that we're finally starting to see some of these auto sales cool, I mean, that also isn't exactly what you want to see when you're a name that is falling right. consistently, now only up about 3.5% on the year. But we will leave it there. Appreciate the breakdown on all things Ford and the general auto space right now, which has been hit with some turbulence. It's George Tillis, Senior Markets Correspondent for The Network.